If you love nature, Western Canada is one of the most beautiful places in the world. We liked it even more than Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand, France, Italy, and other places that we've been. This video is about our 15-day vacation adventure to Banff, Jasper, Vancouver, Victoria Island, Whistler, Kamloops, and Calgary. The highlights of our trip are captured in the order that we traveled. It is also bookmarked into sections for easy reference if you want to see a particular destination. If you like a copy of our itinerary or have any questions, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, hope you enjoy it. So we started our trip in Coquitlam, which is a suburb of Vancouver, and then we first went to Kamloops, followed by Banff, Calgary, Jasper, Hinton, back to Kamloops, and then the way back to Vancouver and Coquitlam, we went through Whistler. This is a copy of our itinerary. It's a little bit busy, but we were able to complete them. The University of British Columbia is gorgeous. It's right by the ocean, has a, a lot of very interesting sculptures, and a beautiful rose garden. We then went to Kamloops and visited the Kamloops Residential School. This is a sad point in Canadian history where First Nation children were forced to go to such residential schools. In Kamloops alone, about 235 bodies of First Nation children were found. We paid our respects and the children sent them condolences. Some say that the most beautiful drive in the world is on Highway 93 going from Banff to Jasper. Personally, I think it's Highway 1 going north between Kamloops and Banff. Our first hike was on Wapta Falls. This is right at the border of BC and Alberta, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous waterfall. And the hike is pretty short, it's about half an hour. Lake Louise is a stunning glacier lake. The emerald green color comes from minerals melted from the glaciers. We met a couple there and we were talking about the lake and they said that it seems like someone photoshopped it. The colors and scenic beauty was just so incredible. Emerald Lake, the National Bridge, and Takakawa Falls are all next to each other, so it's a good idea to visit all three on the same day, starting with Emerald Lake, and that's what we did. The natural bridge 
is a stone bridge created by the running water. Takakao in Cree means wonderful. So this is a beautiful waterfall which is close by the natural bridge in Emerald Lake. Moraine Lake is the most beautiful lake that we've ever seen. All you need to do is take a few steps up these stairs and then you'll be blessed with this incredible, magnificent, breathtaking view. You might ask, if we had to choose between one of the three lakes, uh, Lake Louise, Emerald Lake, and Moraine Lake, which one would we pick? We actually can't. Each one is unique and gorgeous and beautiful. You just have to see all three. From Banff, we drove to Drumheller. Drumheller is known as the dinosaur capital of the world. It is located in the Badlands in Alberta and hosts the Royal Tyrell Museum. In the Badlands, there were also some very interesting rock formations like mushrooms. The kids uh, started climbing this and some of the most fun we had were things that were not planned. These structures are called hoodoos. Most of the wildlife we saw was around Jasper. First we saw these mountain goats, we were very excited, we took a lot of pictures. Then we saw moose, we saw bears, and we even saw a wolf. Our first stop from Banff to Jasper was the Columbia Ice Fields. The Athabasca Glacier is one of the six pinnacle toes of the Columbia Ice Field. It is just amazing, gigantic, and gorgeous. Unfortunately, it is shrinking at about 5 meters per year, and in the last 125 years, it's receded by about 1.5 kilometers and lost half its volume. So if you want to see it, you better go there soon. Some of the most fun we had were things that were not planned. We saw this waterfall right next to the highway and we started climbing it. It was just incredible. The Athabasca Falls is simply breathtaking and located about 30 miles from Jasper.
The Malign Canyon Trail is a beautiful hike across six bridges and is located just north of Jasper. The canyon itself is about 50 meters deep with gorgeous views and will take about three to four hours to complete with kids and stops along the way. The Angel Glacier gets its name from its wing-like shape. It is one of the few glaciers that are actually accessible. It can be reached by using the Edith Cavell Trail located on Highway 93A east of Jasper. To get to the trailhead, you need to drive 14 kilometers along a narrow mountain road and you'll see a lot of hikers there and, and some wildlife as well. The thing we liked about Angel Glacier is that it's natural, it's free, it's gorgeous, and you're not forced to take a tour like in the Columbia Ice Fields. The drive from Jasper south to Kamloops is interesting. There's a lot of small towns with interesting uh, things to do. There's one in particular where we saw uh, a lot of bears and they have tours to go to an island that's full of bears as well. We also saw uh, the remains of the BC fires as we drove across. On our way back from Kamloops, we decided to go through Whistler. Uh, unfortunately, it got kind of late. It was like 6 p.m. and a lot of things were closed, but we did see the Olympic Village and, and walk through the, the town. Next time, we'll have to spend some more time there. The Lynn Canyon Trail is a beautiful hike located in Vancouver and its main attraction is a gorgeous suspension bridge about 50 meters across. We went to this instead of the Capilano suspension bridge which is also very popular because this is free and you don't need any reservations. I believe the tickets for the Capilano suspension bridge is about $50-$60 a person.
Stanley Park is a huge 405 acre public park in BC. It has a lot of things to do and see. There's First Nation art,、uh, there's totem poles, there's the Lost Lagoon, beautiful overlooks, and the seawall is great for hiking and biking. A trip to the west coast is not complete without visiting Vancouver Island. It is also called Victoria Island, which is the name of the main city、uh, in Vancouver Island. The BC ferries operate between、uh, Vancouver and Victoria Island. I would recommend taking one of the larger boats, which is the Spirit of British Columbia or the Spirit of Vancouver,、uh, to get the best experience. If you like gardens, you absolutely have to go to the Butchart Gardens in Vancouver Island. It is one of the most incredible gardens we've ever been to. It hosts about 55 acres full of gardens and started with Jenny Butchart about 100 years ago, starting to build these gardens in the limestone quarry, which was in her backyard. This garden has about 1 million visitors every year. And has about 55 full time gardeners working year round. The Fisherman's Wharf in Victoria is a fun place to hang out, and you just have to try the famous Barb's fish and chips while you're there. The Van Tan Alley in Victoria is the narrowest street in Canada. It is also the entrance to the oldest Chinatown in the country. Our trip to Western Canada was the most amazing vacation that we've ever had. We spent 15 days, traveled 4,400 kilometers, and saw Banff, Jasper, Calgary, Vancouver, Whistler, Victoria Island. We saw the most amazing lakes we've, we've ever seen. We saw beautiful rainbows over waterfalls. We saw amazing sculptures, incredible beaches, and gorgeous sunsets. But now it was time to head back, and where we're left with was a lifetime of memories. We went back home, and then went to our usual cadence of playing Fortnite, visiting our most favorite restaurants. And a few weeks later, we went to Niagara Falls. But that is a story for another time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let us know.